What's up guys and welcome back to the channel again. Today we're listening to Joel Ortiz, Hip Hop. Now this track, I love this track. I love the I love everything about this track. Especially on where it was featured. Now if you play GTA 4, yeah. This is the this is that hip hop track that's on there before flashing lights comes on. Yeah. If you play GTA, GTA 4, yeah. And you didn't hear this track you didn't play the game properly straight you didn't play the game properly look if you play gta 4 and you didn't take the time to swap to switch to switch to the radio station that played this track you didn't play the game properly you did you don't have full satisfaction of the game you need to go back and play the game yeah so gta 4 was the first time i heard this track and Every time I was playing that game, I had to swap to, to the station to to hear this track at some point when it plays. And you, can someone tell me the name of that radio station on GTA 4? Anyway, we're about to dive in. There's some stuff in here that it talks about hip hop based. Um, so yeah, we're gonna listen to it. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's hear what Joe has to say. Nostalgia all the way. Yo, do me a favor. What? Accidentally step on your white sunglasses. <laughs> we don't wear those over here. This is hip hop. That's right. This is Carhartt jackets. Yeah. Timberland boots unlaced. Yeah, come this on. is champion hoodies. Chicken wings and French fries. Man. R.I.P. pieces on the handball court. You see. This is us still fighting police brutality. This come on, man. <laughs> Listen to all of that stuff he's talking about. This is hip hop, bro. This is what happens in hip hop. This is what we do in hip hop. We don't wear those white sunglasses over here in hip-hop. There's certain things you wear in hip-hop. Now, what what Joel is talking about, he's talking about the hip-hop culture and certain stuff that is done and isn't done. You know, yes, it might be the old-school hip-hop thing, but that's what it was back then. This is what, 2000 2003, 2004, that this track came out? So... That is the time of hip hop where, you know, you had the baggy jeans, the unlaced Timberlands, the baggy, the baggy um, t-shirts, the five XL t-shirts that you have on, you know, all of that kind of stuff, you know, the big jack, everything was just huge, you know, quite opposite to now where everything's all skinny, skinny, skinny. Back then it was all baggy, 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 everything baggy. You know, do you ever have? Do you have did you ever have a pair of them uh, Snoop Dogg jeans? <laughs> you know, um, all of that stuff. That's what was in back then. So that's that, that's that's what Joe was talking about. This is hip hop. Let's listen to the track. I think um, I think um, Jada Kiss is on this track as well, and I think someone else as well. I'll put it down below, but yes, someone let me know. Pieces on the handball court. You see, this is us still fighting police brutality. This is hip hop. I ain't trying to bring New York back. I'm just a breath of fresh air. That good old New York rap. Slick talk to the track. Come on, who brought that to the game? Graffiti all on the train. Get up your name. I don't feel how I used to feel. I'm in my 20s, so a new Nas joint used to give me the chill. Bruh, he's just talking about. Life in New York, you know, life in New York, the graffiti, the lifestyle and everything, you know, this is, this is what we do out here, you know, he's in his 20s and he's the new Nas on the block. In my 20s, so a new Nas joint used to give me the chill In the barbershop, try and cop a new hot tape The Rob Lowe's was crazy, the doo-wop's great as hip-hop And yes, I'm a fan first If you from the South, finger snap to your hands hurt If you from the West, W's in the air If you from the East Coast, act like you from here Come on <laughs> He's bigging up everybody Rep where you're from you know, are you throwing up the W's? Are you from the East Coast? If you're from the East Coast, act like you're from here. You know, where are you from? Like, act like you're from there. You know, be proud of where you come from. Be proud of your culture. 
and what you're doing. You know, obviously you can see this is early in Joel's career. You know, he's 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 just getting out there in the video, you know. He's in one spot, you know, he's 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 learning the ropes. I mean the look at it. I I like seeing old videos like this man. Just takes me back. I love the hell out of this song. Like when I when I used to play GTA four, yeah, if this song this song had to play once more before I turn off the PlayStation. That's how it was for me. I had to hear it. I had to go back in the loop again. W's in the air. If you're from the East Coast, act like you're from here. The good old two-step, the classic head nod, the thirsty ice grill. Who wants to get raw? That was the energy in the club on the real. That was the energy that I love. Oh man. This is hip hop, hands up, if you forever up in a hip hop I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop, dream about hip hop, cause I am hip hop Oh man Look, I like the way it, He's just standing on the corner just rapping Do you know what I mean? He's He's not dissing nobody, he's not going after anybody, there's no race, he's just enjoying his Rhyming on the track, you know. And if you're a true fan of hip hop, that's that's all you do. Wake up, hip hop. Go to sleep, hip hop. Dream about hip hop, cause I am hip hop. You know, you are a part of it. If you enjoy hip hop, you're a part of hip hop. Yeah, but we're talking about real hip hop, not the mumble rap stuff. That's not hip hop, bro. So don't bring future here. We don't we don't do future here. Anyway. Let's dive back in. This is hip hop, hands up. If you forever up in a hip hop, I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop, dream about hip hop, cause I am hip hop. I ain't trying to make you dance, I just rip beats. But the soul in my voice give you quick feet. He's not trying, he, he's just ripping beats. Yeah, the soul in his, the soul in his voice gives you quick feet. If you don't take care, yeah, and and you step the wrong way, bruv, you're in for it. But the soul in my voice give you quick feet. I don't know what it's like to not dig deep. When I'm holding this mic, I don't just speak tip squeaks. The tides come in and the earth shakes. 200 mile an hour winds, I'm your worst fate, birthday. Yo, he said a few things there. He said a few things that he's... I need to go for it again. He said a few things there. Give you quick feet. I don't know what it's like to not dig deep. When I'm holding this mic, I don't just be. He doesn't know what it's like to not dig deep. Come on. Now, all these rappers. What are you in the game for if you're not trying to be the best? Do you know what I mean? What's the point of, what's the point of going into something if you don't want to be the best at it? Do you know what I mean? Even though, like, for me personally, I can relate to that with this that I'm doing now. You know? I might I might be trailing on only a couple hundred subscribers right now. Do you know what I mean? But my aim is to be the best at some point. And now I'm not... I'm not trying to um, cut down on all the other ones or, but, or, or on all the other reaction channels, but... I want mine to be a bit different. Do you know what I mean? This is why I take the time to break down stuff a little bit more. This is why, you know, I spend time with certain artists. And this is why I tell the truth about what I'm talking about. Because a lot of people don't really get into it. And my aim is to help you to understand a little bit more so that you can understand what these people are talking about. Otherwise... What's the point of doing it? You know? And that's what I want to do. I enjoy listening to music, especially if it's hip-hop. So when these people are talking, I actually, I actually like to explain to people what they're saying. You know? It's a, it's a brilliant art form, and I love it. He said a few more things in that little bit. Tip squeaks, the tides come in and the earth shakes. 200 mile an hour winds, I'm your worst fate, birth date. 
I'm your worst fake birthday. <laughs> when what when the tide comes in the earth shakes. Alright, let's go. Cool. Born at Malinara wins, I'm your worst fake birthday. July 6th, 1980. How can your age even matter when you rhyme this crazy all? Oh how can your age even matter when you rhyme this crazy? Come on. Now that is a transcendent lyric. Let me tell you what. This guy is doing his own thing honoring hip hop in his own little way. Yeah? Now it doesn't matter how old you are. He's honoring hip hop and he's doing it the way he, he sees fit. Look at um all of these rappers that were on the come up. Yeah? And look at where they were. Eminem. Look at Eminem. Look at look how young he was when he came out in the mainstream. Now the guy is almost he's push he's 47 years old now. Age doesn't matter, bruv, he's still the best. He's still doing it. Do you know what I mean? Jay Z wanted to retire when he when he was about when he when he was what late thirties? Bruv, the guy came back and now he's still doing it. He's still doing it. It doesn't matter about the age. You know? On the other side of the spectrum you got um You got J. Cole, you know, Kendrick, them look uh, Joyner. Look how young they are and look how sick bruv, oh, look how sick their content is. Age doesn't matter. Do your thing. And do it well. And these guys are doing it well. You know? Transcendent lyric there. It's not just him. See, lady, how can your age even matter when you rhyme this crazy? Oh, man. I gotta thank the Lord. Because when it's pen in my hand, I don't think that hard. It just happens. Risk action, classic in the making. I kick back and just laugh. I'm happy. I'm amazing. Whoa. Yo. Now, in there, talking about when the Lord puts the pen in his hand, he's writing crazy. Now, what he's saying is, look, it's a, it's, he's blessed with that talent to do that. Yeah? And he's letting that talent... He's letting that, that talent pour out on the page so his talent can be spread around the world. Yeah, I love that. I love that. In my hand, I don't think that hard, it just happens. Risk when God's pen is in my hand, I don't think that hard, it just happens. It's a natural thing, it's a blessing for it to come out the way it does. Action classic in the making, I kick back and just laugh. I'm happy, I'm amazing. And when he's writing, there's a classic in the mix. Come on, come on. I don't know about you, but to me, this is one of my favorite hip hop tracks. You know, it's always in the back of my mind. Every time I hear Joel Ortiz, straight, this is hip hop. This is like, it, my mind goes straight back to GTA 4, even. <laughs> hey, look at me, gazing in my eyes, see the poverty. Now understand why me and this music just gotta be. It's something that's inside of me, and I can't shake it. So I embrace it and let y'all taste it. Oh, man. You see the struggle in his eyes. This is why he does this. Yeah? Hip hop is there and he embraces it. And he lets it come out. Because that makes him stronger. He's able to express himself with that thing. You know, find that thing, you know. Everybody's got something that they can use to express themselves. That will even help them move forward. You know, whatever whatever problems you might have, that is the thing that takes you forward. His problem is the struggle. You know, but hip hop brought him out of it. Find yours. I'm still looking for mine. Out of me and I can't shake it, so I embrace it and let y'all taste it. Oh man, this is hip hop. Hands up if you forever been a hip hop. I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop. If you forever been a hip hop, I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop, dream about hip hop. 
see some great some great old school stuff there. Cause I am hip hop. Something happened to my body when that track smoke work. Yeah, I swim all well in the beat. I be backstroking. I'm the best and my fans are second that notion. I be the last man standing with my back broken. Back, 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 back. Yeah. We're in the pool. You lot are swimming crazy. I'm doing the backstroke. Chilled. Yeah. What else did he say there? I'm the best and my fans are second that notion. I'll be the last man standing with my back broken. He'll be the last man standing with his back broken. Yeah, he, he's going to fight for this. You know, he's going to strive to do better. You know, he's never going to give up on this dream that he's got. That's what he's talking about. Back open a couple of 40, celebrate me. My competition, man, is squared in the H3. I run circles around him like the skate game, turning little buzz in the yo, whatever happens, so don't play me. Oh my gosh. My, my haters are square like the H3. Yeah, my haters are square. Like, when you say a square person, like an uptight person, a hater you know you're square do you know what I mean I, I think that's that's an, that's an American thing though yeah they're square like a H3 the like Hummer 3 which is pretty much a box car but everyone was after it but you know or was it the H2 that was more popular but anyway you're square like the H3 all right and turning little buzz in yo, whatever happens, so don't play me. I ain't talking now. I just got an awful gift that'll make your office doors get stiff. They won't open, so no bragging and no boasting while I'm hungry. Matter of fact, don't do that when I got a. I ain't talking now. I just got an awful gift that'll make your office doors get stiff. They won't. He's just got an awful gift that will make your authors stiff. Your author, the writer, stiff. Like you can't write nothing because you're he, he's too he's too cold he's too sick. Go on, Jerome. Awful gift that'll make your office doors get stiff. They won't open, so no bragging and no boasting while I'm hungry. Matter of fact, don't do that when I got a lot of money. Yep, I'm feeling myself. That sound right? You gotta step in that ring like listen, I'll pound Mike. You gotta step on that court like I can hold down Mike. The way I step on that stage and had a whole crowd like oh man. Alright, so it's just, he, he's, he's saying, look, it doesn't matter at what point he is, yeah? Whether it's now or whether he's got money, he knows he struggled before he got the money, and he knows where he's going before he got the money. Now, we all, now if you know about Joel Ortiz, you know, like, bruv, the guy is sick. One of the lyricists, and this is one of the guys that was in... That was part of um, Slaughterhouse. He was part of Slaughterhouse. Well, see, Slaughterhouse went through their stuff, but he's still around. You know, that last track on Eminem's new album, uh, Music to Be Murdered by, bruv, go listen to it. Joel on there, come on. He's gonna have the crowd screaming, oh man. <laughs> Staging had a whole crowd like, oh man. This is hip hop, hands up. If you forever a fan of hip hop, I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop, dream about hip hop, cause I am hip hop. Oh man. This is hip hop, hands up. If you forever a fan of hip hop, I wake up hip hop, go to sleep hip hop, dream about hip hop, cause I am hip hop. Oh man. Alright, so that's Joel Ortiz hip hop. I've been wanting to do this song for a while, you know, um, I didn't know when, I didn't think about when to do it, but, you know, I wanted, probably wanted to do it when I had, like, more followers and stuff, but, never mind, I've done it now, it's out of my system, and I'm, I'm really happy about it, because I've been meaning to hear this song again for a while, I really enjoyed it, you know, and for some reason, it's not on my playlist, but it's in my head all the time. You know, when I think about GTA, it's in my head. Whatever GTA, this comes to my head. Anyway, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the song. Let me know what you thought about my review of it. And if there's anything I missed in there, please let me know. 
All right, I'll see you soon. Take care.